This is how to play the Princess Leia theme from Star Wars as a tribute to the late Carrie Fisher. Um, I'm using a capo at fifth fret to keep this in the key of the original so that, you, uh, so that you're in the same key as the John Williams version basically. And we're going to start with an A major chord, going from section A of this. The tab is available uh, via a link in the description. And uh, if you play the first finger on string four, that's how we're going to begin. Now this, the second chord um, is going to be this. Um, so this is why I'm going for this, this finger and it's sort of like an inverse, like a, a, a seventh shape, but it's a D minor six. And we can add that A in the bass if we want. So we're going from an A to this D minor six. Back to the A. And then to a the D minor six again, but we're we're going to a different um, fingering for this. We're going to do this beautiful chord. So there's one more time A D minor six like this. Back to the A and then D minor six like this, which is a D minor without the third finger. And to add the melody to this, so setting off with my third finger there playing string two, play it once more, and then change to the uh, D minor six chord, play the three fingers together, And that melody is on the string two on the on the B string, which is why we're using this finger instead of the first finger. Can play the second fret, is it proportionate to the capo. That one more time. Okay. We'll add a little bit more to this as we go, and I'll show you a few options. This is just my arrangement of this really, but keeping it super simple, that's the first line. Same again, but this time we'll move the fingers, move everything down a string, play the thinnest string with the uh, third finger, play that D minor chord that we did before, the D minor six and do a pluck. Flick off with the first finger, and then with the, I've been doing it with the little finger, I don't really know why, but that's what I've been doing. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people who follow my videos, if you could get that far, you would be very pleased, because it sounds so much, if you're a fan of this, you know, film and, and, and this theme, that's so massive. So from there, just for those second two bars, Move down a string, pluck the thinnest four strings, okay, now from here it gets a little bit tougher, we've got to bar, we've got to bar uh, what is the third fret, um, proportionate to the capo, uh, you can learn this without a capo if you don't have one, uh, but as I say, I, it's a lot easier with a capo on, I have to admit, there's, there's some stretches otherwise when we get later on if you're in open position, so I'd really recommend um, the capo. And then we're going to go, so third fret on string four, and we're going to go for that octave. Now it's best if we can keep those ringing out, so this is why we're barring at the 3rd fret on string 4 and 3, and then the little finger, uh, what well, looks looks like 11th fret, but proportionate to this, it's 6th. So to show you this 5th bar, which is a B flat chord. Play the middle finger again and then move the first finger up a string, and I would play the thinnest four strings as a bar, and then the melody is 7th fret, 
6 um, to the 4th. So that one more time from this second half of it. Same three notes again, seven, six, four. But this time we're gonna move to like a D minor shape, but moved up one fret with the thumb in the bass. That's what I've preferred to do personally. Move that first finger back one. And then we're going to play an F chord to get us very nearly the end. From that section slowly again, going from... Barring one fret higher. Same notes again. Thumb over the top there, hitting that. Oh, we're not actually doing the F bar chord, we're doing this. And this is where I was strumming a little bit in my arrangement of it. And then after we've strummed the F, play the, uh, play string two. Uh, a further twice, and then we're going to lift off some of these fingers and play the standard D minor. And then it's open one three. And we've got a hammer on there to, from open to one. One, three, and then E. From that second half, so from the third fret. Nice slow playthrough from the top now, just so that you can see exactly what we're doing a little bit slower than I did at the start of this video. Three, four. We do also have a section B in this song as well, where we're going to be playing this. And that is playing our middle finger at the second fret of string two, hammering on the third finger, and then playing the thinnest string with our third uh, finger here. Drumming an F bar chord, so second fret, proportionate to the capo. And then second string, string four. Then to an F major seven chord. Finish into an E. Same pattern again, basically. Open to first little finger at third. To an E major. 
Thank you so much for watching. You can check out my other Star Wars themed tutorials and uh, loads of fingerstyle tutorials on this Andy Guitar YouTube channel.